I've had quite a few people ask me what the multitasking and just general everyday to day usage is like on the brand new M1 MacBook Pro. A lot of people have specifically commented they wanna see web browsing performance, Excel, Word documents, and all that kind of stuff running at the same time on this machine. So in today's video, I thought I would delve into this a little bit more and just give you a real life test and scenario of how this machine is gonna perform. So what I thought we'd start off with in this video is a very brief and rudimentary test of Excel. Now, if you guys wanna see further Excel testing, please let me know, this is just a very, very basic one. But I've gone on and I've actually downloaded a sample document, which you can see here. And if I actually get some information on this, so this is a 41.6 megabyte Excel.xls file, and I've loaded it with heaps of data. There aren't so many formulas and anything like that. There's no VLOOKUPs or anything. Uh, it's just data. So what we'll do is we'll open this up and we'll see how quickly it opens. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's actually a lot faster than my old Intel Mac. Strangely enough, my old Intel Mac had a lot of issues with Excel. So this is this is looking pretty smooth. Now, I've preloaded about 75,000 rows uh, and I've duplicated those tabs in here. So we've got one, two, three, four times about 75,000 rows in each of these tabs. And if we scroll all the way down, you can see the Mac is handling it pretty well. And again, this is a 41.6 megabyte Excel file, so it's quite large. Now, tab switching, easy, there's no lag, there's no delay there at all. Now, if we'll actually come up here to one of these things, so we'll actually make this a filter and let's filter by ship mode sending. So you can see that loads straight away. If we deselect all and just select different groups, that works fine. And if we come over here, we'll do sort by postal code, ascending, descending, and then we'll select my same postal code. You can see here it's sorting very, very quickly. There's no issues. Again, this is just a really basic spreadsheet. There's nothing too fancy here. So if you do want to see additional testing, let me know. So what I might actually do now is I'm going to open up Activity Monitor and I'm just gonna leave it open on the left-hand side of the screen so you can see what's going on. So I'll leave it on the CPU first of all, and I will be doing RAM testing later on, um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do uh, CPU. So let's sort by CPU percentage usage. You can see down here the idle, the system usage and the user usage. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually just gonna do some multitasking. So I'm gonna be using uh, well, obviously Excel is going to be open in the background. I'm also going to have a few Safari tabs watching some videos. I'll also have Word open and I'll be writing a script for a video. And I'll also open up a Google Chrome tab, which will have my drive folder in there. So my drive.google.com documents. Okay, so we'll leave that up and we'll go back to it from time to time. And we're also going to open up some Safari tabs and we'll do some browsing in there. So let's open up a few videos here. We'll also go on to Reddit and I'll just make these a little bit smaller here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do like a 10 minute time lapse. Uh, I will have, I will actually open up more tabs in Safari, more tabs in Chrome and some more Excel documents as well. So I'll really give the CPU a blast. So without further ado, I'm going to get stuck into it and just keep an eye on the activity monitor on the left there.
Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes or so of some pretty intense multitasking. So hopefully you've been keeping an eye on the activity monitor over here. What we might do quickly as well is we'll jump into the memory tab and we'll have a quick look at what's going on. So you can see all of these different windows I have open and I am using 6.4 gigabytes of memory out of eight gigabytes. Again, this is just the base model MacBook Air. You can see I've actually opened up Photoshop towards the end. That's taking up the majority of the memory. And then all of these Chrome and Safari tabs, about two or 300 megabytes each, but I've had absolutely no issues. So what I'll do first is I'll actually just show you just how much stuff I have open at the moment. So starting with Safari, I've got a tab of YouTube open, one video playing, two videos playing, three videos playing, four videos playing, and then I have three Reddit tabs, all with images and ads, and that's just Safari. So if we now go into Chrome, I've got a Google Drive tab open, another Google Drive tab, a test spreadsheet I've been doing some work in, another Google Chrome video, another Google Chrome video, and another Google Chrome video. If you noticed some lag there, again, it's just because this is the old version of Chrome. And moving on to Excel. So we've got one spreadsheet, two spreadsheets, and there was a third floating around. Here it is, third spreadsheet. And bear in mind, each of these spreadsheets are quite large, They're about 30 to 40 megabytes each. And now moving on to Photoshop. You can see we've got Photoshop open. Now guys, try not to copy my artwork, okay? I'm gonna actually sell this to an investor later on. But as you can see there, nothing crazy, but still just having Photoshop open and being able to use it while doing everything else is just absolutely insane. So if we go back to the activity monitor and we go back to CPU, you can see there again, Google Chrome is just really destroying the CPU usage. Everything else is not using much at all. I'll just drag the process name out so you can see a bit better. So yeah, my initial impressions and thoughts are that this is incredible for multitasking. I mean, I don't think anyone is gonna have this many videos playing at the same time and using Excel, Chrome, Safari. Oh, I forgot to mention I had Apple Maps open as well, which isn't the most resource intensive app, but still. Uh, but yeah, I just don't think anyone's gonna have all of this open at the same time. But even if they did, like it has barely used any of the CPU. I've been keeping an eye on the idle percentage throughout the entire video. And I think the lowest it ever got was to about 60, 65. But for the majority of the video, it was around 75 to 80% idle, which is crazy. Again, like I say pretty much every single video I've made, this is just a $999 base MacBook Air, where a couple of years ago, you could barely do anything on it. You open up three or four, tabs on Chrome, boom, the fans are on, it's hot, it's useless, and you basically can't use it. So this is an absolutely incredible result. And I'm gonna be looking more into this. So if you have any specific things you want me to try, let me know. I'm just gonna leave this video here though, because this was just supposed to be a brief look. One thing I forgot to mention is the thermals of the Mac. Now this thing is barely warm after all of that multitasking. You can definitely tell that it's turned on, like it's not cool to the touch, but it's barely warm. Like if I touch other cooler parts of the Mac and then the front here where the processor is, I can literally barely tell the difference. It is that cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.